So yeah, we can just like uh, start blasting and I don't even need to leave, uh, use leap or anything, like just lunging strike basically. And this is how the dungeon looks. Boom, boom, boom. We do the go round ruins. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Man, they're gonna nerf this. <laughs> bring it down a bit. I mean, don't nerf the fun completely, but bring it down a bit. Like, this is, this is like the new build. Like, who needs a core skill, man, if you have Lunging Strike? Hey, everybody. It's Rob here. Today we are playing a Lunging Strike Barbarian. And this one, uh, we actually did a level practice. It's super cool for leveling, because all you need is Lunging Strike, then the Element Imprint, and Lunging Strike Range on the Tempering. And this build is super cool, and it's super easy to play. And basically you just hold down left click and you start killing all the monsters. And um, yeah, we're teleporting from quite a f quite the range. This is like a fresh character. We just uh, entered Helltide. We have like some random gear on. And um, yeah, like this build is completely insane. And we just keep dashing and we keep lucky hitting. Or we keep lunging striking. And you see the range is increased. Like I actually lunging strike from, from quite a far away. And uh, yeah, like we just like do a couple of uh, Helltide runs here. And we also have... Uh, twisters on spawn because we are uh, generating a bunch of fury. There is some pretty cool um, passives that also receive buffs like the tempering fury or the endless fury. Let me show it to you here. Skill tree. As stuff just dies, it's this one here. Endless fury, like 1.3 uh, multiplicative fury whenever we use a two-hander, and that's what we're doing with our launching strike. We're just using our mace, and um, yeah, we're just blasting, and it kills everything. I don't want to take that artillery, at least not as of now. Oh yeah, you see here, there's monsters here, boom, boom, boom. A fresh character, I'm playing a uh, 800 item power weapon. And this works works even before, like um, in World Tier 3. You just need access to the uh, tempering, and that uh, is very cheap. It almost costs no materials. I'll show you in a sec. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the build. Okay, let's see with uh, even more attack speed and artillery. Obviously, it's going to be even crazier. So yeah, lunging strike range and lucky hit on the static element. Like, you don't even need to press the other buttons, but you also have hectic and, and all this kind of stuff. With the artillery shrine on. The artillery shrine, obviously, it's completely busted. And this, this, this aspect that we have here in general is so good. Like, look at this, 45,000 shadow damage. And this is not scaling off your weapon attack. So maybe this is going to get a bit of a fix. Um, but even if it's nerfed by, let's say, a half or something, it's still going to be like a really strong um, weapon. These kind of things. Really strong tempered affixes. And yeah, you can just like go with this and it also spawn twisters whenever you generate 100 fury. Obviously, we don't have the, the plan for the twister yet. You can't, you know, realistically find this that early. So we're just playing without uh, the... Twister size or Twister anything, like it's just a new character, you have nothing, this is the base recipe, um, in the static one you just have, and I'm not sure about the lunging, you can let me know in the comments, but you don't even need the lunging strike range, even without the range it's fine, like, just playing normally, but yeah, with the range it's a lot cooler of course. You can see here how we just like go through the Helltide, just lunging, striking to everything, and it basically just auto teleports you. We also have charge, I mean, you can press your other buttons. And the cool thing is we are playing Hectic at the moment, so we can reset our cooldowns too. Man, this is just so cool. See how many items we're getting. Chop, chop. It also gives us a Fortify all the time. Because uh, I just found this item here, like it's still a sacred. Because we just unlocked World Tier 4. Uh, this gives us Fortify whenever we generate Fury, and yeah, we generate a lot of Fury. They buffed the Fury generation on this a lot, so it generates 12 Fury base. Then you have a bunch of multipliers, like such as the uh, Endless Fury that we already talked about. Because we're using 200 weapons, so it gives 1.3x. And then we have uh, Fury generation on Rallying Cry, and on just a bunch of other affixes. Oh, there's actually a cool new Helltide chest here. Yeah, there's uh, the Tormented Gift of Doomsday, we, we figured this out. It gives a lot of items here. It only costs 50 cinders. And boom, you can see like how many items this gives. I just got like a ton of items. So this is like a new chest that you can get in the Helltide nowadays if you, did, if you didn't see it yet. And yeah, we can get our Berserking from Charge or from Leap. Like whenever we hit something, there's a passive. You just get Berserking. But also, 
Um, whenever we crit, so you want to stack crit chance. I don't really have much crit. I rolled on one or two items. And by the way, on re-rolling items, you don't even need Forgotten Souls. So it's very cheap to re-roll in this patch. And it's even cheaper to temper. And the power creep is insanely high with tempering. As I also put this uh, build into early Nightmare Dungeons. And it's also insane in Nightmare Dungeons. Okay, this is pretty much how it goes. So let me show you a Nightmare Dungeon. I will go over the setup and then I'll show you a Nightmare Dungeon. Get me out of here. Okay, so of course he interrupts me. Okay. Boom. So what we're rocking is... Um, lucky hit chance to um, spawn... Or to basically inflict weapon damage. And this one is just like, no matter what your weapon is, you can do this on a normal weapon, and it's going to do 40,000 damage. Completely insane. So I'm not sure like how they're going to scale this, but like right now, it's... Uh, it's pretty wild, because you can have a, I don't know, like a 600 iron power weapon and it can do 40,000 damage. And you see, your base weapon here only does like 3k damage per hit. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. And you can have this as a barb on all four of them, and you can't miss it, right? If you go to town, and you click on this, like you, you cannot miss it, it just always happens. Like it doesn't matter really which element. Obviously physical would be nice, because barb scales physical the best. Uh, but it doesn't really like matter all too much. It can be anything. And you can see here if I would temper my weapon. So just click temper. Down here. We just hit the temper button. And you can see here, I'm also going to remove my zoom cam here for a sec. So this is the elemental search. This is the one we're using. So lucky hit. And you see, no matter which one it hits, doesn't matter. You just imprint it. And you see, okay, on this one, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty, pretty expensive. But on the... Um, Sacred and normal items, it only costs one fragment. And this is just obtained by salvaging literally one item. Ten Veiled Crystals, very easy to get. And Iron Chunks, you just get these on the way. So it's super cheap to temper. It doesn't... It barely costs anything. It's it's actually insane how cheap it is. And it's so strong. You're getting this. And this is, um, as far as I know, a basic recipe. I'm not exactly sure like when we unlock this, but um, obviously it's not going to be the legendary one. But it's like... Maybe a bit weaker, but the rare ones and the rare and blue ones are going to drop like very early, it seems. And we're going to have the season team on top of all this power. So in general, we're feeling pretty strong with this stuff. And yeah, you can just temper this and just click it once, pay uh, 10 yellows. And I think on a normal weapon, it doesn't even cost any of that. So it's completely insane, this, this item. So yeah, and you don't really need like a full build guide. So we did our technique quest. We have the axe here. And uh, we're just playing some random items here, like basic skills, damage reduction. This one is in the codex, very easy. I only have the mineral here because we just restarted. And this one I just found off the ground here on a sacred item. So after generating 100 fury, your next direct damage generates dust devils. So we generate a lot of fury with lunging strike and uh, we can just do some extra dust devils for AOE clearage. Uh, a juggernaut you always want, I found one here, you always want to put this on, a, on the highest item. I don't have a sacred. Actually, we found a couple of sacred items here now. Uh, that are big upgrades. But yeah, this just gives you the armor cap uh, very easily. And then the lunging strike here, pretty cool. Um, yeah, a bunch of attack speed here. I put like all this basic skill, but you don't need it. Shall generate dust devils. I also just found this off the ground. 12%. Um, Edge master, rapid. Adaptability, actually, I just found this one. 400. Okay, maybe we can show you here how much the tempering costs. Yeah, you can see here. Tempering a normal item costs nothing. It costs one yellow, five iron chunks, and you can temper. You can temper 45 damage on it. It's super insane, man. This tempering is, is a crazy power creep. And yeah, then we play Hectic on the amulet. I'm going to put a build guide in the description. We also found here Bolt Chieftain. Uh, we just found it off the ground. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the build right now. I'll put like some of the key legendaries in the build guide in the description. And then we're just playing Triple Shout, because we don't really need a spender. We don't need to spend any Fury. We just generate it, and that spawns Dust Devils. You can also play Kick if you want to um, spend the Fury real quick. Um, but I like to have more mobility with Charge and uh, Leap. But it's not really necessary. You can play Power Kick here if you want some single target damage. But right now, uh, this thing, I will show you a Nightmare Dungeon here in a sec, is just completely insane. Um... But yeah, that's we're rocking like five points in Lightning Strike, the Berserk King, three points in Endless Fury. Uh, we have the Shout, we have all the defensive stuff, one in each Thorns for the Bleed, Movement Speed, um, Battle Fever here for the Berserk King proc with these two. 
Um, pit fighter because we're always closed. Counter offensive because we're always fortified. Uh, Waller because we attack with our mace. And then the uh, unconstrained, of course, because big DPS multiplier. And yeah, Paragon board obviously is not really like uh, finished yet. So we, we're just rocking. Uh, I just found an exploit here that makes stuff vulnerable in the starter board. We found Might here because we're using a 200 weapon. And right now I just have Undaunted here for some toughness. I think we actually just looted Ira. Um, so we might change this or like put Twister in here, but like right now we can't get the mates that required. Okay, then we're gonna stack into um, Blood Rage, of course. Okay, that's pretty much the build. Let's do um, a quick Nightmare Dungeon, I guess. We can do Goa. So I'm expecting this to be a bit nerfed, but man, Lunging Strike, like this is just such a cool build. So much fun. Lunging Strike, Lucky Hit. And Lunging Strike does have very high Lucky Hit, and it has the teleportation ability that makes it insanely strong i would say but you can see here lunging strike base is like 57 and i don't even have lucky hit anywhere you can get so much but i didn't even roll any of my gear pieces even though the enchanting is pretty cheap so yeah we can just like uh, start blasting and i don't even need to leave uh use leap or anything like just lunging strike basically and this is how the dungeon looks boom 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 we do the go well ruins boom 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 this is... <laughs> Man, they're gonna nerf this. <laughs> bring it down a bit. I mean, don't nerf the fun completely, but bring it down a bit. Like, this is this is like the new build. Like, who needs a core skill, man, if you have lunging strike? <laughs> who needs a core skill, guys? Oh, that's it. Dungeon done. Maybe use some shouts. Look at the lucky, you can see the lucky hit when they proc, like boop, 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 boop. And that was uh, Goa Ruins, my friend, with the lunging strike barb. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this one is so insane. Maybe we do one more. Maybe one that's not that easy. I don't even know what these are. Dead man stretch, okay. I think I need to have some clickables here. One more dungeon. But this is so much fun, like, obviously they should not just into the ground, but the... Uh, more dungeon. But this is so much fun. In like, general, like, that thing, thing is pretty insane. More dungeon. But this is so much fun. In like, general, like, myself. that thing but is pretty insane. More dungeon. <laughs> okay. Deadman's Dredge. Let's see it. Plop, plop, plop. Maybe they'll make it scale with weapon damage. But yeah, lunging strike range also feels so good just for porting around, man. <laughs> I will see if this is still gonna be viable. Boom, boom, boom. Probably gonna pick some stuff. And yeah, the more fury you regen the more stuff it's gonna proc. And power level just seems to be insanely high. I think I forgot uh, one of the one of the things down there. Yeah, this is the lucky hit stuff. We're using. And yeah, re-rolling and everything just seems so cheap now. I still feel like we're getting a lot of materials and this stuff is just very cheap. You see? How slow we actually have to walk if we have to walk. This is probably going to be the build I'm going to level to uh, 100 with. We just lunge, man. Lunge and all the utility skills. And we're expanding right now. I'm going to post this on YouTube. Oh man, I this uh, this one pixel I missed is actually pretty annoying. Chop, chop. Might want to try this in endgame as well. It's probably also a good endgame build. Sure, this is gonna do 100 pit. We'll see how it's gonna look like after uh, whatever they will change. I 
and the teleport ability, and then it also spawns some twisters. Obviously, we don't have the twister size legendary. Like, this one will not be there, this plan. You guys remember, like, how rare it was? So that one will probably not have. Do you want to see what my twisters are doing? Oh, there's a goblin rift here. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is such a crazy build. Yep, we just launched, guys. Do we even need to do anything else? Okay, I don't know, like, I think they can tune this down a bit and it's still gonna be extremely good. You know? Like, 45,000 damage. And this seemed to be one of the base plans. Like, I found a, a yellow version of this, like, when I was level 30 or something. I don't remember exactly what level it was. Lunging strike for the win. Oh yeah, that's it then. Lunging strike. Hell yeah. Well, that has been a lot of fun, my friends. Well, this is probably going to be the build that I will level up with. It depends on what the final changes are, of course. I mean... We might also just play pure uh, Dust Devil double swing. But I just wanted to show you this build real quick. And um, obviously, we'll see uh, what changes are coming. And I'll keep you guys posted and updated if this build is changing. But for now, this is a super cool, super fun build. Lunging Strike for the win. Take care, my friends. GG. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day. So come and say hi.